Welcome back. Dr. Nada Hari, an Ayurvedic practitioner from Amshlanga, also specializes in Nada Yoga. This is an innovative form of music therapy to free one's mind from the stress of modern day life. Sadhana joined one of these phenomenal sessions at the ABH in Chatsworth. So sit back and relax as the soulful sitar strings soothes away your stress. This is the external form of reciting or chanting Om. I'm sa I said Om internally. So ex from externally, external form of chanting Om to internal form of chanting Om is Sadhana. Nada literally means in Sanskrit is Nadhyateti Nada, which has a flow, which has a sound, which is pure in form and which has a flow is Nada. So Nada in Indian classical music is very important because the Shruti that the ma Shruti or, or Sur what we call as for example if I say now uh, the sitar is tuned in uh, modern D or this is in Nada. Now if I if I off if I make like the one key gets away so there will be no Nada. Nada is not in a pure form. Now the Shruti is important. And, and in Samaveda, the, the origin of Samaveda has the origin of music which was in three notes and then evaluated, the Nada was there. Samaveda was basically with Nada. With th three major notes and one, oh, boo, that the, uh, the, uh, the way they were singing hymns and everything, it, it's in a singing form. So we can, we can root the Samaveda, uh, uh, Nada in Samaveda. When the folk music is uh, put in order and, and different modes, different ragas, different uh, uh, emotions being developed. Like folk music, particular for a joyous uh, uh, reason, has a joyous uh, involvement in it. The raga which is, which is based on the joy is, is, is of different thought. So different thoughts are evaluated under the influence of different moods. So the folk music led into uh, very ordered, very well-formed Indian classical music, which contains different ragas. Raga literally means Ranjanath Raga, Raga, which gives color is Raga in Sanskrit. Raga literally means color. Now, Raga in classical music, technically, set of certain notes which are played on to create certain mood, so for example, uh, we take Saregama that should be sung as to create the mood that we desire or reach the path. So here what happens, the frequency, when, when people listen by evacuating the mind, don't think anything, listen to what is performed, what is singing, what is playing, the music transfers inside and it does its activity. Raga transfers inside and does it activity. That's the yoga, Raga yoga, Nada yoga. Yoga typically means to combine. Yujyate ane naiti yoga. It combines together. So here what happens, Raga colors inside and combines the supreme soul with the living soul. So this, this, this movement takes in a different levels, creating certain different pictures, different colors coming in, in, into, into the mind because the journey towards the sadhana is always colorful. Every note is a sadhana. Every note is, is part, the inward part that, that the program suggests as sadhana. Sadhana, is, every note is a sadhana. So you keep, you start at Sharja, then Rishab, then Gandhar, Madhyam, Pancham, Dhaivat, Nishar, then the Tarshar, just like it is related with the chakra concept of the body chakra concept. So every note if there is small note, uh, Ustad Amir Khan Sahab, before his death, he told in his last performance when he was singing Bihar after that, I touched a different Gandhar. So this Gandhar is touched by the vocalist only be before he, he, he dismisses his life. So intensity is that, like every note has so importance once you involve it in completely sing or perform or, or, or like in sitar, for example, I, sh I show you just now.
So if the note is off, feeling is off, mood is off, raga is off, music is off, no classical music. Music itself is therapy. First thing is, music itself is healing when music performed very well. Now the, from inside, you listen to the, the Nada Yoga has a reference in, and music therapy has a reference in um, Brahma Sutra Bhashya of Shankaracharya. Music has its reference in Patanjali Yoga. And Nada Yoga has a reference there. Today, everyone wants to be happy. The stress level is very, very high. And if you tell someone to concentrate, do the yoga, where do they concentrate? Where do they focus? No, don't know. But the music, which is pure in form, which is in raga form, which creates moods and which, which, which balances the mind-body relation, takes the stress away through a proper channel. So basically, ragas create happiness. It's like, uh, it's all the feelings. Now it's raining, you're happy, it's raining, you're joyous. You must sing something which is related with the rain, which imitates raining. Mia ki malhar ven sare ma pa ni ni da ma pa ga So the, the feeling itself it says like all and the bandish is our mail ghana ghana ghora ghora The weather changes, it happens Sun shines, it happens Bhairavi should be performed only in the morning because the morning has its with time, season Inner time, external time, everything is related with uh, one another in, in our music. Music therapy makes you so calm and very good at judgments. All good things that happens with this, yeah. So, and, and different people go with the different uh, experiences. Performing arts from it, it, it includes everything: performing dance, performing drama. Uh, every aesthetics movement in, in, in Indian history is being developed under 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 a continuous classical way. Because if you think music, origin of music is when man found happiness, he created some sounds. <laughs> 